The Little Yellow Hermit Crab, written by Mark Ruddick, illustrated by Melissa Snelling, and read by Alan Mandel. The Little Yellow Hermit Crab was proud of her shell. It was pleated and twirled and fitted her so well. It kept her safe, both inside and out, and it made her feel fancy when walking about. The reef was much calmer than on a regular day, and the little yellow hermit crab wanted to play. She peeked inside the waving anemone, but the clownfish was stuck in front of the telly. She asked the barracudas to slow down, but they didn't listen and zoomed off through the town. She knocked on the hole of the wobbygong, but he looked so sad, as if something was wrong. The whole reef was quiet, like a bedroom at night, and each and every family was locked up tight. No school swam by, and the waves were still. There was no one to play with, not a whale or a krill. There were groupers, octopus, lobsters, and squid, but when asked to come play, not a one of them did. The little yellow hermit crab felt so alone, and so, with a sigh, she scuttled back home. She rinsed out her shell and hung it on her hook, then curled up so comfortable with a good book. The story was filled with magic and song, but it didn't hold her attention and was much too long. One thing that stood out, though, above all the rest, were the knights with their swords and how they were dressed. Armour that gleamed like the hermit crab's shell, pleated and twirled and fitted so well. The knights strode out in the world without fear, protected and protecting with a purpose so clear. Ha <laughs> ha! The little yellow hermit crab knew what to do. She picked up her shell and made off into the blue. Beyond the reef were forests of kelp, deserts of shells and claws that could help. An army of armour, a factory of feelers, a collective of crustaceans, industrious and eager. With skill and with care, new forms were created. Shells of all kinds, sizes shrunk and inflated. From pebbles to boulders, the claws carved and they formed. A wave of creation upon which the crabs swarmed. When the work was completed, the crab sent out the call. It's safe to play out. Come out, one and all. As the families of the reef looked out on their world, they saw their new shells all pleated and twirled. The shells will keep you safe, both inside and out, and make you feel fancy when swimming about. From the tiniest shrimp to the mightiest whale, each was protected from its head to its tail. They moved through the reef and surrounded the crustacean and with one voice cheered in elation. Thank you, oh thank you, little hermit crab. It's nice to be out and no longer sad. Thank you for making our fabulous shells. We promise to wear them to protect ourselves.